Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a lightning review of Mountain Goats, which is for two to four players. It takes about 20 minutes to play. It's for ages eight and up. It only takes about a minute to teach, which is accurate here on the back. Mm -hmm. So this is a push your luck, score the most points games, where each player will have a set of goats. You set up the board like this, numbered five through ten. You're going to roll these four dice and make different groups. You can have one die in a group. Uh, so here I can make two sixes, a five. And if I do a four, that means I'm not moving a goat because there's no four mountain. But I can make it a nine, so I can move my goat up two spaces on six and my nine goat up one. Yep. Here are the other two colors you can play. These are bonus tiles. The game will end when either all four bonus tiles are gained or three piles are depleted. How do you get these bonus tiles? We need to have a complete set, numbered five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you can even get a second, third, or fourth set if you can beat other players to get four complete sets. And when you watch the How to Play and Playthrough, Julie managed to get these two sets, the five through ten, twice before me, and I only got the nine and the six by the time <laughs> the game ended. Uh, so then Julie would go. She'd roll the dice. And then she can decide, I mean, she can make this a ten if she really wanted to, and ignore the two. And we'd keep on going back and forth. When someone gets to the top, that's when they get the token. And then if a player comes up there behind them, they push them all, they kick them off, so it's a little bit of king of the hill. And they kick off uh, their goat. And then they can collect the tiles, uh, the tokens. So while you're up there, you can keep on collecting until somebody kicks you off the top of the mountain. So I can be one away and then kick her off and she would go back down. <laughs> And so the uh, only other rule to know is that if you roll more than one one, you can change all but one of those ones to any number you want. So if I really wanted to kick Julia off the six here, I'd change that one to a six. She'd get kicked off. I'd get, a, another, I'd get a six. And then uh, I could have made it a seven, but I wanted to kick her off, so I wouldn't be using this die, and I would go here. Now, you can occupy the same space that's not the top of the mound. So we can both occupy that space. It's when one of us gets up here that you knock off the other one. Uh, so if you did get three ones, for instance, you can change two of these ones any number you want, or not do it at all, and I can make this a nine. So again, you keep on playing until three piles are depleted or all. Bonus tiles are claimed, and whoever has the most points wins. If there is a tie, whoever has the most goats at the top will beat the tie. So let's take a look now at how our, rank, our criteria on the left criteria. So is this a fun game? Yes. Yes, very much so. Yes. Uh, the theme does fit what you're doing here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you do feel like your goat's going up to the top yep. and you're kicking uh, off the other goats. Uh, I mean, it's a push your luck game with some theme. It's so cute. Definitely. Uh, the art works. It's, you know, it's kind of cartoony. It's not the best art. It's not the worst it's art. Fun. It fits. Yeah. And then here we have uh, components. Are so, this are nice wood components here. Nice chunky. Yeah, I like them. I mean, they could have made them much smaller. I like that they're big and chunky. Right. Now it can be difficult getting it into the box, <laughs> uh, especially with the expansion. There's an expansion here that has a fifth player, uh, and another set of rules for some two two additional cards, which we're not going to go over. Hey, did we forget theme? We just jumped, we did fun and theme all we together. Did theme. Oh, we okay. did art. Now, components, like I said, complexity. Oh, the cards. <clears throat> Again, this is not an expensive game. The mm -hmm. cards are thin, but you're not going to be you're not going to be shuffling them, so they don't need to be the most no. high quality. Okay. They uh, work fine. They work, and the tokens <clears throat> are minimal thickness, not the best thickness, but the, for this price point, they work. Mm -hmm. uh, complexity. Yeah. Super easy. Super easy. You, it says ages ain't up. That's appropriate. Mm -hmm. You could even play this with even a first grader learning basic math. Yep. Maybe even a kindergartner at the end of the third or fourth quarter. Because uh, it has pitted dice. That's smart. Because a child can count the mm -hmm. pits to figure out where to go. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I counted them too. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Now, a child will might need help counting up these tokens here. And how much you want to give assistance or have them use a calculator or if you want to have them count up on their own that's up to you but a, there's adults that will need assistance uh, uh, when you have over 100 points and you're adding up these numbers yes you do 
Uh, age and audience, definitely appropriate. Oh, playing time. It's quick. This is a filler game. So fast. You, you play it when you're tired or you just mm -hmm. want to play it in between longer games or end of the night. Age and audience is appropriate. Uh, the design and mechanics, it works. It's a solid push your luck game. Oh, wow. Yeah. Learning the rules was fine. Sometimes all play can have problems with buried rules uh, or not explaining things well enough with the examples. But it's all here. No problems understanding it at all. And then the last thing here is educational merit. Nice. Yes, I would have used this with if our boys when they were younger. This oh, would be yeah. perfect to teach them basic math. Yep. Um, for gifted and talented, I would not use this with gifted and talented. Uh, there's some strategy here, but not much. Oh. Uh, there's not much theme to tie it into curriculum. Oh, I see. I mean, unless you're... I mean, I can't see somebody doing a mountain goat unit. And even then, it would just be enrichment. So it would be more used in the regular classroom, even if there was a regular classroom to set this up for a total class, probably wouldn't happen. No. You do it in small group instruction or a, a club, a gaming club, mm -hmm. where you would want to develop. So if I was doing intervention with children that needed to develop more math skills, I would pull this game out if there were first graders or second graders who were having trouble with their basic math. That'd be perfect, yeah. Uh, now, if you had a gifted child that was a kindergartner or four years old, you would play. You pull this game out, Oof. but that wouldn't be in the classroom. That'd be a homeschool home. homeschooling situation, yeah. or just so, home it for fun. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm just pointing out the educational merit. I got you. Uh, if you wanted to develop more basic math skills, so the basic math skills are there. All right. So how would you rate this? Nine. A nine. Very much enjoy playing. Yes. For me, it would be an eight. I enjoy playing it and would suggest it. I'd suggest it to you. Only over time will we know if this, because you say a nine, that means that you're going to be playing this for years to come. Okay, an eight then. So you'll be. I say an eight for now, but when we have grandchildren someday, <laughs> it will probably go to Look, a nine. You can stay with a nine, but we'll, we'll know. After a year, I mean, after six months, a year, two years, three years, how often are we going to take this off the shelf? True. That's why I'm not ready to make it a nine or ten right now, because can't stop. Yeah. Ink and gold. Uh, it's right up there with them, though. Those two we've been playing for years. Yeah. We have dozens of plays on those. Will that? Those are games that are nine and tens. Okay? I think this could be up there with them. It could be, and that's fine if you. So you're gonna still call it a nine? Or I'm gonna call it an eight point five. An eight point five. <laughs> for me, it's an eight for now. If we continue to play this over time, yes, it can rise to a nine or a ten. So eight point five for me, and eight for this guy. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much, you guys. We hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you in the next video. Right. And you can watch our full how to play and play through if you want to see who won that. Hint: It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you in the All next right. one. Bye. Right, bye. -bye.